Hello everybody, today I will be reviewing and comparing the four Greg Hastings tournament paintball games that have come out on consoles. First thing we are reviewing is the intro videos for the video games. I personally like the Greg Hastings tournament paintball maxed video for the original Xbox the best, and I don't like the one for the PlayStation 2 because it's not very much paintball related. Yes it is, but then it also has all this like in the hood type <laughs> video going on and yes be it's a be real music video and he was a big part of it, but it's not necessarily total paintball related like the other ones. Also I noticed that Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball 2 for Xbox 360 and Wii did not even have an intro video, so that one is completely out of the equation. So I'm just going to let all three of them play through, side by side, and all the music will come from the maxed from the original Xbox. Hopefully you like it. Gameplay! Probably the most important thing in every video game is how it plays out. In the original Xbox games, they both had great, smooth gameplay. They didn't have as many options, however, as uh, one for PlayStation 2. However, PlayStation 2 would sometimes lag, especially when you would die or get hit and then switch to another character it would slow way down for a split second. Now, PlayStation 2, you had the ability to jump over bunkers and make very detailed breakout plays and stuff. You had that, you had the option to make the breakout plays, but not as detailed and uh, maxed for the original Xbox. And you actually lost both of these features in Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball 2 for Xbox 360 and Wii. The Wii game also for the computer would act like a chicken with its head cut off running around. Just your teammates, the enemy team, it was all very predictable. If you knew where the flag was, you could actually just shoot at the flag and most likely you would kill a majority of their whole team 
just running towards it. You had calls and stuff for the Greg Hastings 2, but they were not as anywhere in depth or actual like breakout planning like the other ones from the previous generation of game. Another thing that Greg Hastings 2 had was that you could train your people and give them different skills. That was different from before with different point values that you could assign from experience. And with this though, there was another problem where if you knew that you could do it, you could actually shoot, reload, dive, and crawl all at the same time. Which is very unrealistic, especially if you've ever played paintball. So you know that there's no way in hell you're going to be doing that. And that's just one of the many unrealistic things that this game brought to the whole franchise because before the game was actually relatively realistic and your computers would actually hide behind bunkers and call out positions of other people and work with you and you could tell them where to shoot and stuff like in real life but this game everybody kinda runs around like an idiot and it was very frustrating being a paintballer and loving the Greg Hastings games to have this game come out and be advertised as the greatest thing and it really was a step backwards and in comparison to many other paintball games that are out there that aren't the Greg Hastings that are just total crap this one was right along there with them unfortunately it had some cool features but nowhere near to make up for all of its flaws Later, sucker. capture the flag The original game for Xbox actually had quite a bit of equipment that you would know. A lot of the major brands for a brand new game. It really wasn't that bad. And then with Maxed coming out, the selection grew and there was actually a more diverse amount of guns and equipment that you could select from. And then finally with Maxed for PlayStation 2 there was even more guns, more equipment and you could actually change colors and stuff finally of your guns you couldn't in the original ones then with the Greg Hastings 2 for Xbox 360 and Wii there is still a good amount they I wouldn't say it's as a as much as before but it was well diverse because there was scenario and woods ball play in the game and that was a bigger part in keeping the whole gameplay diverse you could also actually finally change the color of your jerseys and team color to make yourself different from all the other teams. Instead, before, you had to stick with whatever color jersey it was programmed in the game.
One thing that actually remains a constant throughout all the games is the field editor, and that they're all pretty much the same, except for in the one for Xbox 360 and Wii, that there's more selection and you can actually make like scenario fields and stuff, opposed to just tournament fields. Well, this concludes my comparison of all four of the Greg Hastings video games for consoles. They're all great fun games to play, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.